Greetings everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is Amy Hinsman, I'm the treasurer of the Leo Augusta Children's Academy. And I'm Doug Anderson, the director of the Academy, and we're here today to tell you about the green space that we have at the Academy. When we think about the Leo Augusta Children's Academy, I can't help but go back to this gift and talk about the gift and the extraordinary size of this gift and what it's gonna give the community. When we walk to the south side of the property, you're gonna see the toddler area that we're having fenced off by Rolling Green Fences out of Austin. It's a large, beautiful space for the toddlers, consisting of both grass and a pedal area. We're really excited about what this space will provide for our toddlers. We'll have a, a grassy area which will provide for soft play, games and activities, uh, social and emotional development with their peers, but we'll also have a concrete area where they will be able to use pedal bikes, uh, pedal tractors. It's important to keep in mind that we're pursuing Minnesota licensing, and there are rules and regulations that need to be followed in order to do so. With that, we need to have each of our child age groups separate. We certainly wouldn't want a 10-year-old school age child to be in the same play area as an infant who is <clears throat> six weeks old. So when we move to the preschool area, you're gonna see this area fenced off separately from the others. Again, it's gonna have a green grassy area along with concrete. And it's interesting when we talk about Minnesota licensure requirements, and there's always minimum requirements. Each child is actually required to have 75 square feet of outdoor play at all times. That means for our 40 preschool children, we are required to have 3,000 square feet if we expected all 40 of our children to be outside playing at, at the same time. It's absolutely beautiful knowing that all 40 of our children are gonna get 12,000 square feet to play with. Again, when we think of the extraordinary gift and the size, uh, you do not see many childcare facilities with this kind of outdoor space. And we are excited that we're going to be able to provide three times more green space area than what is required. We are required to provide indoor and outdoor activities for our children, which includes active play and quiet play. And so our programming and our space opportunities will promote just that, that physical activity and that play. As required, these activities will need to be provider directed, but also child initiated, and it will include active and quiet play areas. Alongside the preschoolers, we're going to have an outdoor area for infants as well. Now our infants are generally in the crawling and sitting stage, so we don't have any concrete available to them, but they'll have a nice soft grassy area where we can lay down blankets, um, shade tents, so they too can enjoy the outdoors. In that area, we'll also be able to provide for some motor activities for these infants as well as the other groups of children here at the Academy. And last but not least is enough room for our school-age children. That space is equipped again with grassy and a concrete area. I envision basketball hoops and all kinds of things, street hockey to keep the kids busy. Uh, and motivated through the day. Um, there's also a sitting area with pavers and picnic tables. And I would envision as kids return from school in the afternoon that this may be a great place to have a snack, sit down with a book, and just kind of make that transition from school to the academy for the afternoon. All of our fencing will be equipped uh, with the required Minnesota licensing to keep our kids safe and secure. There will also be panic gates, uh, part of our evacuation process if we have a situation inside the building where all the children are required to leave. There will be panic bars um, that will be managed by the Leo Augusta Children's Academy staff. We are indeed lucky that because this is a renovation project, our green space area includes already mature trees and areas that are already in place and promote a, an environment that is conducive for active play, physical play, but also the social and emotional interaction that kids will have with their peers. We sure hope that you enjoyed today's tour of our green space 
and we're excited to bring you many more videos to come. We have an exciting venture here uh, and we're looking forward to sharing it with you in the future. Thank you.